Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Bravely Default 2. Where we left off last time, we were on our way to Rhymedal. We need to find that bridge. Uh, didn't do any leveling between videos, just didn't have time this time, so we definitely haven't finished off that new class. Which we should probably start working on. So everyone's going to become a salve maker. It's going to be very underpowered compared to our current class. But that's okay. Are we overburdened on everyone? Actually, no. Surprisingly, we are a-okay. What is the weight capacity on these guys? 60. They can hold a hell of a lot more than I was expecting. Oh no. Okay, that would overload us for sure. We could do like a broad axe, but that actually lower our damage. Let's just... It's fine. Um, I don't have any JP buff stuff going on. Healing blooms. Ugh. Can I go across this giant ice field? I don't know why, but I just have this desire to go across this field of snow and ice. There's probably a chest in there somewhere. I don't know what these are for. There's been one in each zone. I'm guessing they're like teleportation rings that allow you to teleport between zones. That said, they've never activated and I don't know how to do that. That's a different way. We're not going to go that way. We're going to the town, wherever the town is. One day I'll go back and get all the treasure chests. I should really do that at some point. He looks like a big dude. Are you running away from us? Yes, okay. Uh, we're going this way? There's a road here, okay. Weird. What's weird? You okay, Adele? I'm sure this place used to be a lot colder. There was a huge glacier right there. No trace of it now, though. Could it have melted? That might explain the sudden change in the sea levels. The wisdom of the line of Musa lives on in you, I see. Huh? Who said that? Oi! Down here! Whoa! Hey! It's some kind of weird lizard. It's adorable. <laughs> It's very rude to call us lizards, I'll have you know. Gwillem! Hey there, little guy! It's been a while. What's a Gwillem? You two know each other? Sure. We, uh, ran into each other once or twice when I was in the area. You understand us, and can speak our language. You're a dragon, aren't the you? The tiniest dragon. A dragon? Like, a monster from a kid's story? First lizard, now monster. You're not very nice, are you? <clears throat> I am Mighty Gwilym of the ancient and venerated Draconic Line. You are and adorably small. And what brings small. you this close to town, Mighty Gwilym? The stink of death, actually. I followed it here all the way from home. What do you mean, the stink of death? Well, uh, how can I put it? It's like... The smell of lots of life disappearing. Human life, to be precise. Uh... Can uh -oh. I come with you? I want to go and see what's been going on for myself. Sure. Oh, I'm also supposed to tell you. In you go! So tell me what? Wait, 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 wait I need to tell it. No, let him tell me the thing. That sounds important. You just stay nice and quiet in there, okay? How very dare you! Did you not hear the part about me being of the noble draconic line? Oh, quit being such a baby. It won't be for long. Quillum is now accompanying the party. Okay. I would like to know what he's supposed to tell us, because it seems... Oh, this place looks like it's... Well, looks fine. No one's obviously dead yet. It's Christmas Town. There's people alive, look at that. Getting very like Castlevania vibes from this place though. It's pretty cool looking, I gotta say. Well, nothing much seems amiss around here. Looks like a nice, safe, normal little town to me. Well, looks can be deceiving. 
This is where the death smell's coming from, for sure. Oh, that stinks of it. Oh, while I've got your attention, I'm supposed to... I thought I told you to stay in there and be quiet. No, 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 wait, I... Adele, why are you covering up something? Have you heard? They found another fairy. Another one? Cool. It beggars belief. Yeah, they're just about to call upon the Lord's judgment now. Really? Blimey. Better get down to the square quick then, eh? First dragons, now fairies. I take back what I said about this place being normal. But didn't the fairies all disappear many years ago? Yeah. I mean, at least I heard they did. They mentioned the Lord's judgment. But does that mean they're going to ask some kind of god to help them? That would be my guess, yeah. But this being Rheimdahl, they'd be asking a dragon. They have those instead of gods here. I've never heard of anything like this happening here before, though. Guess we better go take a look at this judgment for ourselves. Yes, let's go do this. Oh, there's a bell. Adele is covering something up and I don't like it. No one there. There are three treasure chests here somewhere. That's the inn. Okay, that's no one of import. That guy's blocking that stairway like a jerk. So we're going this way. Apparently we're stuck here. You stand accused of the most heinous of crimes, that of being a nefarious fairy in disguise. But, but, Bishop Helio, I never... Hush, child. I pray as fervently as you do that these abominable accusations are proved false. But though a single drop of wine tainteth a pail of clearest water, still doth the blemish remain. Such is the nature of suspicion. And so we turn to the purifying judgment of the holy, that your innocence might be demonstrated beyond all doubt. Call upon the Lord of Dragons, who watcheth o'er us all. Ask of him that your guiltlessness be confirmed. All right. I... I hereby call upon your judgment. Lord of Dragons, watch over me! She is definitely gonna Lord die. Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! What's going on here? This doesn't feel right. She jumped! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Lord of Dragons, watch over us all! Why are you all just standing there? She jumped, damn it! Straight into the arms of the Lord! That she might be judged and found free of sin! But, but she'll... If her faith is strong, she will be returned to us soon enough. Archbishop Dominic! But... but... how can you be sure? How dare you ask such a thing? And of the Archbishop, too! Let's kill the Come, whole town. children! We cannot expect these wanderers to know of our ways. Rheimdahl welcomes you with open arms, friends. Join me at the Hall of High Holies. There I will teach you a little of his draconic majesty. Oh, this is a cult My thing. My sister was no fairy. How... How could they? Now, are they just fodder for becoming if this zombies? this is what they're up to, it's no wonder the priests think so bad. This wasn't the first time, was it? Not even close, I'm afraid. Sounds like we need to go and ask a certain someone a few questions. To the Hall of High Holies. Uh, you sure we want to just go barging in there? It's not barging in if he invited us, is it? True. 
Guess it's as good a place as any to ask about the fire crystal. Yes. Come on. No side quests yet. Just a creepy town with murdering each other. That's always a thing, I guess. Okay, that was the way we couldn't come up before. Which means that we're now going this way. Weapon shop. Scimitar. So nothing really... I guess there's... Oh no, we have an Alistor axe. Nothing super new yet. We'll come back here later. Nope, you're not the travel lady. I need the boat lady. She's in one of these houses, probably. He just has to say, like, we gotta be careful not to bring the whole town down upon our heads. Nope. Where is the lady? Actually, we can probably find out. The boat lady is close by. She is in that house there. Oh, we're only at 118, 119. Never mind. It just seems like we should be further along, honestly. Okay. Let's go up here. I worship the Lord of Dragons, of course I do, but I don't ask him to help me with my work like some people. Blacksmith's gotta take responsibility for his own products. That's what I believe. If they're not up to scratch, then it's up to me to do better my job. If you feel the need to start praying every time you mess up, then Blacksmith is probably not the game for you. Fair enough. Treasure? Maybe? Yes. Got a snug scarf? And a light talisman. Okay, there's two of them done. over there. I guess we're gonna go up to the high hall. Seems like that's... Oh, maybe not yet. Let's go this way. Could be a treasure chest over here, possibly. Ooh, you guys are in my way. Hello. We're getting things ready for the next judgment. No one's allowed through for the moment. Sorry. Okay. Well then. Move. Damn, people being all up in my grill. That was his own transition. That might not be where we wanted to go. We're like in a caldera type situation here. With just so many gravestones. That big gravestone. Can't go on that stuff. So there's a lot of graves up here. That's a little worrying for sure. Alright, we'll find the other treasure chest later. Let's just go and see what this guy's up to. Welcome, friends, to this, the house of our lord. Yeah, thanks. Now, do you want to tell us about that execution back there? This is how it appeared to you, who come to us from afar? No, friend. What you witnessed was the purest expression of belief. Belief? You guys worship the Lord of Dragons, right? Ah, uh, so you know a little of our customs. That we are able to dwell here, in the heart of the snows, amid the endless winter. All is thanks to his draconic majesty. Oh, and that woman jumping? That was thanks to him too? No. That was an act of our sister's choosing. She wished to prove herself innocent of being that which offends our lord more than all else. A member of the accursed race of fairies. But how would throwing oneself to one's doom prove anything? As those who know a fairy kind will tell you, these devious creatures are wont to hide their wings. A fairy falling from a great height would have no choice but to utilize them in order to save itself, and in so doing, reveal its true nature. And if the one jumping turns out not to be a fairy, no one could survive a fall like that. 
Those whose faith is pure need not fear. Our Lord and Master shall see to it that they are saved. But that's insane! I warn you, young man. I will suffer you to speak ill of the Great One but once. <sighs> Look, maybe we should all calm down a little. You really think that's what your Lord wants? Ugh, don't you start. You think rooting out supposed fairies is what he wants you wasting your time on? You doubt the truth of his word, child? For that is what it is. The word of the Master. I and I alone hear him. It is to his most trusted servant that he deigns to speak. And true faith is rewarded with miracles. Have my long years of prayer not seen the bitter cold of this land lifted at long last? Come now. I think we all know that it was another power that thawed the frosts. And what do you mean by that? Precisely what I say. <sighs> that will be enough for today, I think. You are encouraged to visit me here again whenever you so choose, of course. All are welcome in the house of the Lord. What was all that about, Adele? Talk about out of character. <sighs> Sorry. But it helped us to learn something useful, at least. It did? He said that Rheimdahl's warming was the result of his prayers. But he didn't say it was the Lord of Dragons who actually made it happen. Doesn't that seem a little strange? Given that, and the fact that he refused to give a straight answer to my other question, I'd say we may have found the Fire Crystal. Are you the travellers who dare call the Archbishop's word into question? Absolutely we do. Well, he might have let you get away with it, but Gladys of the Dragon Guard certainly isn't about to. You're fairies, aren't you? Huh? Why would you think that? Well, the fact that you doubt the value of the Lord's judgement, for starters. I've got a good mind to make you take a little leap of faith yourselves. Enough, Gladys. Allow me to introduce myself. Helio, Chief Inquisitor to the Archbishop at your service. Please, you must forgive dear Gladys. She can be a little overzealous in the execution of our duties. But, uh, there is nothing to apologize for. But if you don't mind me asking, what are these duties? We are charged with seeking out the detestable agents of fairy kind wheresoever they might lurk, and submitting them to holy judgment. In pursuit of which purpose, we make it our business to establish dialogue with the people of the town and with visitors such as yourselves. We shall pray for your safety on your onward journey. Lord of Dragons, watch over us all. I've got my eye on you lot. Put one foot out of line, and I'll come down on you like a ton of bricks. Crikey. Between those two and the Archbishop, this place has got its fair share of unsavory characters, eh? You don't say. Right! That's it! You're listening to me this time! Huh? What is it? Dad asked me to come and find you. That's the reason I left home in the first place. Before I smelt the smell. Gwydion sent you? How come? Who's Gwydion? He's Gwilym's father. Uh, you know the Lord of Dragons everyone keeps talking about? That's him. What? He's real? And you're pals with him? Uh, I wouldn't say pals, exactly. But I know him, yeah. So, what else did he say? He wants you to come to the Serpent's Grotto. Why didn't you say so earlier? Because you were too busy shoving me in your bag! Oh. And uh, it's quite comfy in there, so I might have been resting a bit in between trying to tell you. Well, I guess I'd better go pay him a visit. You guys are coming too, right? It's north yes. of town. Come, is it? Come on. I guess we can go do that. We'll see if we can grab the other treasure on the way. Don't know exactly where it is, though, at the moment. This is where that first one was. Well, the first two, actually.
That's a cute little doggy, I will say that. Alright, what this place? This is the weapon store. And there's really nothing else around at the moment. Find the other chest later on. Let's go see if we can actually, before we go too far. Nope, not near. Okay. Thought maybe it was in the inn. Actually, maybe it's in that one building that. Oh, there's people in here now. It's never been invaded. Apparently, they, uh, never been invaded as a town before. Interesting. Let's go. North of town, eh? Your oh. Grace. I would speak with you of the travelers. Uh-huh. I have divined already that which you wish to tell me, Helio. They mean to steal the crystal, correct? Incredible. The depth of your insight knows no bounds, Archbishop. Mighty Gwydion shall soon lose even the power to move. This being so, he sends word instead through the ether that I might serve as his chosen oracle. And as if that were not gift enough, he blesses us with such inestimable treasures as the crystal of fire. Yea, this great work in particular is undoubtedly his doing, and none can be suffered to take from us that which he has granted. Very good, Your Grace. I shall begin gathering evidence at once. We shall soon prove that the interlopers are agents of fairy kind. Gladys. Yes, Lord Inquisitor. The travelers are suspected of the most heinous of wickedness. Look into the matter. Of course. Such foul creatures must be rooted out. That Rheindal might be made pure. And my parents might rest in peace. I would continue my investigations into Ridian's daughter, Your Grace. Do I have your blessing? Do as you see fit. Lord of Dragons, watch over you. Lord of Dragons, watch over us all. Lord of Dragons, watch over us all. I shall not relinquish the crystal. Not again. Did you relinquish it once before? I guess maybe you did. Alrighty, north of town. Oh, I see. This is the area from before. I might... Oh, I chopped down a tree. How is this class in terms of attack power? Oh, bad. It's real bad. Oh, man. Okay. That was a 500 damage crit. This is a worrying class dynamic here. Okay. Oh, At least she does damage. We should change our weapons. I'm sure that they have better... Maybe it's the yeah, weapons we're using are bad for the... Uh, class in question. What do you like? A. So they're really good with axes. Flare hatchet's fine, I guess. What else is good? And daggers. Okay, I'll use the flare hatchet. Daggers fine. Switching over to axes. Okay, and bows are only C class. Although it's not that good. How to Mangosh? Not as good. An Alistair would be nice. E is bad. Maybe two Mangoshes? Okay, that's good enough. It's a lowering of attack if I use that. Lowering attack if I use that. 
slight increase in attack if I use an offhand dagger. Cool. Alright. That's at least maybe a little bit better. Oof. Grim stats, though, on this class. Gotta say. There are nine treasures in here somewhere. I don't know if we're gonna have time to do this whole place. I might call this one a little bit early. And uh, we'll finish it up next time. Just because I don't think that we're gonna have enough time to go through. Or at least even... Well, maybe. You know what? Let's find out. Let's do a couple okay, fights. What's the plan? Okay, that one died. That's fine. Your tail ends here. We must not grow complacent. Hardly worth the bother. Actually, now, nah, yeah, we're gonna call it here. In the next video, we'll do this whole cave. I might level up between videos just to not have to use this class specifically. For now, I'll leave you here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.